No, oh, come on, let's get him next time. No runner. No runner left behind. Someone's got a stitch, so I've just slowed down. Let her recover. Hopefully she's coming. Hashtag no runner left behind. That part of the run where you've not planned enough, but not planned long enough route. So you gotta keep running around the block until you get to your desired distance. Here's a conversation I'd like to have with someone at some point. If you are somebody who reverses into car parking spaces, I want to know why. There's no fucking way on this planet that that is a more sensible option than driving forwards into a car parking space. You're driving forwards to a tight space, you've got more accuracy, and then when you reverse out, you have all that space behind you to fucking reverse into. You're trying to reverse into a narrow space. All I can think is you're trying to fucking show off how good your fucking parking skills are. Whilst I'm sat waiting for you to dick about while you're fucking reversing. You could have just been in. I could have drove past and we could have been on our way. Instead, I've got to sit there and wait like a fucking knobhead while you dick about getting into a parking space that you could have been in. In a quarter of the time if you'd have just drove in forwards. Anyway, yeah, so if you're... Uh, if you're someone who reverses into car parking spaces, let's have a discussion sometime about why. I need you to persuade me that that's a better option. Anyway, see you later. Busy morning. Been out for a 10k run. Uh, done the food shop. Done all my housework jobs. All the boring stuff that gets done on a Sunday. Um, I'm just going to leave you with a simple tip today with regards to uh, planks. Um, and I have, a, I have a dislike of loading planks up by putting weights on the, the back of whoever's doing the plank. I just, I don't know, I just think the first go-to option for making a plank harder should be lengthening the lever. So traditionally it would do planks on either like our forearms and hands or just on our hands like in a press-up position. Um, and then obviously you'd, you'd work on time. Um, the duration of the plank so that the longer the plank would be the harder it would be and then once you like hit a certain target say a minute two minutes where the, the the next go-to would be to add weight but what i'd suggest is that you then work on lengthening the lever so if you're on your elbows i'd probably suggest going up to your hands to do this but so go up to your hands and then start to take your hands further forwards so the the length of the plank so from your feet to your hands is going to be a longer lever uh, and it's going to be harder to hold um, because the, the support of your hands is, isn't underneath the shoulder anymore. It's, it's moving away from, from being directly underneath the shoulder. So it just makes it harder to support your own body weight. Um, I would suggest that that's a safer way to um, increase the difficulty of a plank. Um, so I'm just going to put on the end of this little um, this, this little description um, me doing, doing a full length um, full plank um, so from my hands and my feet and, it, and my hands are pretty much as far as I can reach out and that's a strenuous position for me to hold certainly for 60 seconds I could, I could possibly get two minutes out with good technique um, and, I'm, and I'm using nothing other than my own body weight um, so I just think it's safer than, than jacking loads of weight up onto my kind of my mid back especially my mid back at the moment and lower back since since the injury at the start of this year so I'm definitely not going to be putting chucking weight on my back um, and I would suggest that it's not really the best um, idea for the majority of people to start placing plates and dumbbells and stuff on the on the lower back um, so yeah try a, 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 a length try lengthening the plank rather than loading the plank as a way of making it harder okay that's Sunday the vlog I think it's day five um, so far so good we're coming up on the first week and yeah check this plank out 
and I shall speak to you tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, yeah, day six tomorrow, Monday. I'll come back with you. Come back with some more, um, some more information for you to start your week. Well. Let's